A lot of people still think that electric trucks or electric semis are not really going to work, even though most of the world's trucking companies have said that they will and they're investing in them. However, in Australia, researchers are about to build a section of freeway which will wirelessly charge not only cars, but also electric buses and electric trucks. The plan is to roll out wireless electric charging freeways across numerous parts of Australia within the next five years. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Now, I'm just sort of picturing in my mind trying to do this with a hydrogen or diesel truck, trying to refuel it or refill it while it's driving. It would be a disaster on numerous counts. I mean, the only way I can imagine this possibly working is if maybe Tom Cruise was involved, you know, maybe some kind of amazing stuntman was doing some sort of work here, which, you know, it's never gonna work in the real world, obviously. This kind of refueling would never work with a internal combustion powered or hydrogen powered vehicle. With EVs though, wireless charging is already a thing and it's already in roads in different places around the world. There's American roads that have this. In Miami, they're building out 13 kilometers of road or 13 miles of road. In Japan, they have this as well. I believe there's also a highway in Sweden that has wireless charging. So this is not just some kind of wacky idea. It actually works. At this point in time though, the charging speeds of wireless charging roads is not, well, they're not particularly fast but I guess they don't need to be. A world first project is going to recharge heavy duty electric trucks and buses while they drive in regional Australia, says the Driven.io, in a development that researchers say will accelerate adoption of electric transport. The $8.2 million project will be used to wirelessly recharge passenger cars as well in the future, they say. And this will help with range anxiety. I mean, if you think about it, right, I think range anxiety is not really that much of a legit thing today. But once we have these wireless charging roads, even if only for say 20 kilometers here and there, that would certainly kind of improve your, your feelings towards having an EV. Kind of reminds me of a game like Mario Kart or something as well, right? You kind of drive over the bonus section and you get a special boost up, a special charge. <laughs> That's just me, but anyway. This project is led by Swinburne University of Technology in Australia. They received a $3 million government grant towards developing a prototype for wireless charging in roads. The university's new energy technology research group lead professor says the technology will be a first for Australia and the prototype would be the first in the world to top up semi trucks and buses whilst they are driving. Now, yes, that's true. Like I said before, there are currently wireless charging roads in other countries, but they're not suited for trucks and buses. We are trying to charge large electric vehicles wirelessly while they are moving on the road in a very simple way. You can imagine 1.5 kilometers or you know, about a mile of road that the vehicles will drive on with a limited speed and it will charge the vehicles. So you'd install these kinds of roads in places where the speed limit is relatively low you know, maybe built up areas. And then it would make sense because vehicles would be there for longer. The road in Japan where this is installed is actually at a busy traffic light. So it makes sense rather than people getting frustrated with that light, they look at their charge and gauge and they go, oh, this is great. I'm here in a traffic jam, but my car's getting charged. This is great. The professor said he expected the prototype to work by building coils into the test strip of road and retrofitting existing heavy duty trucks and buses with receivers to harness the charge, which is actually not that difficult. The prototype will deliver around 50 kilowatts of power to boost the battery. So 50 kilowatt charging speed, DC charging, it's not particularly fast, but realistically it doesn't need to be. I think one day there'll be hundreds and hundreds of miles of charging, wireless charging roads. So then you could, in theory, just continue driving forever without ever stopping. Dynamic wireless charging for large electric vehicles will make a big difference in the Australian market, say the researchers, as some transport firms have expressed concern about electric vehicle range. At this point in time, it's true that electric trucks don't have as much range as what would be ideal. Now, there are trucks with battery swapping. You can swap batteries out and they, they basically have a forklift that swaps out the battery and you, away you go, you drive off again. But most trucks now have actually don't have the option of having a swappable battery. Tesla Semi, for example. But that said, the Tesla Semi does have nearly 500 miles of range. 
And new batteries are coming out with higher energy density, which would mean that trucks within the next year or two will have more range than they do today. In Australia, the landscape is very different because we are a huge country. Distances are very large and dynamic wireless power transfer is something very attractive for the future of transport. When we, when we implement this project, it will be an answer to charging cars, lightweight cars and trucks as well. So is the future of the automotive industry wireless charging? I don't think it is. I think it's just too practical for the majority of charging to be done at home. Now you can actually get wireless chargers already um, for your EV now, but they don't charge as fast as normal plug-in charging. So I think most likely 95% of charging will still be done at home uh, where you can use your solar as well quite often. But this niche market, you know, road trips, trucks, you know, trucks driving on freeways, buses, etc. They could have sections of road, you know, sections here and there where maybe there's a gap between charges or maybe there's some particular reason. Maybe there's a reason that you, know, you might be spending more time on that section of road where it would make sense to have wireless charging. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Bye bye.